guys. In this video, we're going to cover the flips into two rifle tricks. You don't have two rifles, we're only going to second one. And in order to perform an eclipse, be sure you master how to do a rising sun. And be sure to stick all the way through to learn how to do a rising sun in a single exit. If you don't know what a single exit looks like, you just want to know what I'm talking about, check out the trip library video right here. To get started, we have two rifles in our hands one on our left, one on our right. Obviously. Take the rifle in your right hand. Just hold it up, swing it around, and tuck it into your shoulder. Take the rifle in your left hand, grab it around the balance point, and then face it downwards. So the rifle is both of the barrel is facing downwards, but the one in your right hand has the sling facing away from you, and the one in your left hand has the sling facing behind you. Starting off an eclipse is the hardest part of because you have to that momentum that you take for granted when you start out doing rising sun with one hand. So we're going to start with the right hand. How you're going to get that momentum right away is by taking your right hand, pushing the rifle forward away from your shoulder, and then letting it drop. When you let it drop, pop it up. You catch it as you would for a fire knife or a sun. So that's how you start with the right hand. Pop it up go straight into your eyes and sun. With your left hand, you're actually going to move the butt back, swing the rifle kind of out and then in, and pop it up. And this is going to happen a little bit after you're going to go here, and as soon as you catch, swing the left rifle around. Okay? So if you want to practice that sort of thing without letting go of the rifle. Just boom and go around. This is good practice to begin with because right here is your release point for both rifles. So once you get this motion down, which is just a rising sun, or it's a cross plane, single cross plane back to front with the right hand and then the left hand. It's the same thing where you got the rifle spinning in a counterclockwise direction all the way. All right, so now that we've got that taken care of, we go back to our start position. And the trick to this move is that you want to release with your left hand first so you get the rifle up into the air. When you release with your left hand first, You transfer your left hand back to your right hand. And as you swap out hands, you take your right hand and you catch it in front of your face. Now, what's different about the Eclipse than a regular Rising Sun single exit is that for a regular single exit, it's going to be at this level or below from the midpoint. But if you're doing an Eclipse, you're actually going to have that right pop up higher. And the reason for this see, is going to be up like your forehead level or a couple inches above it. And the reason for this is because when you let go with your left hand, you want to be able to take that left hand and smoothly transition it to the rifle that's going behind your head. Uh, it's difficult to kind of understand when I'm talking about it, but go ahead and grab two sticks or two rifles and really try it out. So, catch. Left strike. It's a left transfer right. So left transfer right. That should be the pattern you're going. Left transfer right. 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 And to accomplish this effect, you have to go a little bit slower on this cross than you do to here. What I mean by that is going to take more time than usual. You don't want it to be all in the same speed. You don't want the, uh, this portion of the trick to happen at the same exact time as this portion. If you do that, you're going to be st sitting there with the rifle that's ready to be caught before your left hand's ready to catch it. 
the, if it's already here, it's going to be awkward to stop that momentum in time to transfer it over. So have your right arm move just a little bit slower than your left arm. Okay, you can see when I release the rifle here, I'm only at around this point on my right hand. So when I'm about to release, I'm at this point, the tree has broken. Uh, so just be careful with that. Um, it's, it's really one of those tricks where you have to go out there and try it. You have to let go, and there's, there's no other way around it. But once you get it, it's a really cool feeling, and it, it'll be a great part of trick vocabulary. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Happy drilling.